This is attorney Gina Klassen Lozier of the law firm of Berger Singerman, and I'm here today with Lauren Oleski, meteorologist from CBS 12 News team. We're here today to share some important information about the peak of hurricane season. Now, we're coming up into the fall months, and we've seen very little tropical development this year. Is that normal? Well, the peak of hurricane season starts to be right around now, right between mid-August, you know, right, we're right in the middle right. of August, to the middle of October. So it's not completely unusual to see few named storms. Now, we've seen five so far, um, so, and we're actually kind of right on track with where we should be for this time of year, mainly because right. we are predicting a below average season. But it's not totally uncommon to see very limited activity prior to the month of August because we do start to hit the peak as we move into the end of August and then into September. So why do we see the peak at that time of the year? What causes the hurricanes to peak at the, you know, the, in that October range? It seems like we always have October storms. Yeah, for sure. So generally the storm, not generally, all the time, hurricanes are driven by the waters. So the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, those fuel our storms and of course the Caribbean Sea. So those fuel all of our storms. So the Atlantic Ocean is generally the warmest right around now, between now and the middle of October. So the warmer the water is, the more storms we'll start to see. And since the water is warmest this time of year, we'll generally start to see more storms forming. Okay, so when we, can we expect to see, if we're going to see such, something as a major hurricane this year? When would the time period we typically believe it would happen? So on a 30-year average, our, the peak of the season is right around September 10th, September okay. 11th, which is actually when Irma made landfall here last year. So we generally see the largest number of storms, maybe the strongest storms, right in the middle of September. After the 10th and 11th, the season generally starts to trend downward. Mm -hmm. We see a little bit of a late season peak right in the middle of October, which is when Wilma came through in 2005. Right. And then from there on out, the season uh, generally tapered, tapers off. So right around the beginning to the middle of September, that's kind of our peak season. Okay, so that's it's coming up very mm -hmm. soon then. Well, as an attorney who is dedicated to resolving insurance claims on behalf of policyholders in the state of Florida, I hope that we have a slow end to the season and we don't have a repeat of Hurricane Irma last year. Okay. We thank you for watching.